The release date for Bless Unleashed has finally been unveiled. The free-to-play MMORPG is coming to Xbox One on March 12th. The action combat title is set in the world of Lumius. Come together to take on the mighty monsters or go against other players as you search for the truth behind the strange daunting visions and hidden secrets. The action MMORPG has a range of classes which include berserkers, mages, rangers, priests and crusaders. While Blessed Unleashed is a free-to-play title, fans can back the Founders Packs which are available for pre-order on the Microsoft Store. Depending on which one you pick, you could be playing the title as early as February 26th with 15 days early access. For full pack details, you can check it out on FextureLife.com. The open world RPG Outward will be getting a downloadable content pack called The Soroborians this spring, which was announced by publisher Deep Silver and developer Nine Dots Studio. The downloadable content will up the challenge when it comes to survival, meaning you're going to have to pay extra attention when it comes to death, dehydration, losing your backpack, and more. There will be a new system called Corruption, which will affect you in a number of ways. There are also new enchantments for weapons and trinkets. The downloadable content also comes with new skills and status effects. Outwards DLC, the Soroborians will be releasing this spring. PAX East 2020 is arriving next week, and along with it, some news from the studio behind Baldur's Gate 3. Larian Studios have announced they will be revealing some gameplay. According to their latest tweets, they have secured themselves an extra 30 minutes to show off some of the game on Thursday 27th of February at 3pm ET. If you want to catch the whole thing live, they will be streaming it on YouTube during this time. Larian previously teased something big would be happening on February 27th last month and finally shared this exciting news. Larian has also released a new video announcing the PAX East gameplay reveal, shows some more behind the scenes of the making of Baldur's Gate 3. The upcoming strategy title developed by Romero Games, Empire of Sin, has been delayed to fall 2020. The game lets you take on the role of a mafia boss during the Prohibition era in Chicago, using turn-based strategy to run your empire. Empire of Sin has an interesting setting of the 1920s, quite different from your usual strategy turn-based RPGs. Instead of playing a detective like in Disco Elysium, or a mutant being like in Mutant Year Zero, players will be able to influence the city of Chicago by bribery, trading on the black market, gaining the upper hand with your crime family, and building your notoriety. Empire of Sin will launch on Nintendo Switch, PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One in fall 2020. Earlier this week, the Embracer Group, the parent company of the publisher THQ Nordic, released their Q3 interim report. One of the highlighted statements was about Biomutant, which was shared by THQ, about when they will be announcing the release of the game. With 20 people currently working on it, it has taken some time to be finalized. This was followed by a message from the developer Experiment101 on Twitter, assuring fans that Biomutant is very much still in development. While the message doesn't share an exact release date, they did express that they will let fans know once they feel confident about hitting that date. Last time we spoke to the developers was at Gamescom 2019 last year, where they showed some gameplay, character customization, as well as more of the fun and furry world. You can check out that video on our YouTube channel if you want to know more. The sequel to the acclaimed Mountain Blade Warband will be releasing on Early Access on March 31st, 2020. Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord will be available to buy on Steam, Epic Games Store, and Tales World official website for $49.99. The developer has decided that it's the right time to have players join in on the completion of the game by playing through Early Access. This isn't the first time Tales World has worked alongside Early Access, as the first titled Mountain Blade also went through the same process. The medieval simulator combines action, role-playing game, and strategy into a world where players can weave their own adventure in the fantasy continent of Calradia. THQ Nordic released a playable teaser demo for a potential remake of the original Gothic a few months back. With feedback from fans, THQ have decided to move forward with the project. The teaser game was well received with over 180,000 people taking part, with almost 95% wanting to see more of the Gothic remake. THQ also released the results of the survey sharing some interesting feedback, including 85% of those players being diehard Gothic fans. Overall participants gave the playable teaser high scores, meaning a pretty good response and a clear go-ahead for THQ. Gothic 1 is a classic open-world action RPG that was released back in 2001, about an orcish invasion into human lands in the kingdom of Myrtana. We'll have to wait and see what THQ Nordic plans for the finished remake. We are a couple of months away from the release of the nightmarish sci-fi action RPG Hellpoint, 
but the developers have further surprises in store for fans. They have now released a chapter from the sequel Hellpoint the Thespian Feast for free, now available on Steam. Hellpoint the Thespian Feast is described as a dark, challenging, and from the looks of it, just as hellish as the upcoming game, set as a sequel of the story of Hellpoint. In the press release, the creative director at Cradle Games, Matt Bordreau, explains that this chapter stems from the very first demo that was released four years ago. While the chapter is inspired by that demo, Thespian Feast features new enemies and a fearsome new boss. There is also split-screen co-op if you rather take on these creatures with a friend. If you're up for the challenge, Hellpoint the Thespian Feast standalone chapter is now available for free to play on Steam. Upcoming title, Hellpoint, will be releasing on April 13th on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Pearl Abyss, the developer behind the action MMORPG Black Desert, has announced that the console versions will be getting crossplay support starting March 4th. This means you can now join up with your buddies and venture together whether you're on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One. The fantasy MMORPG comes with highly detailed character customization tools, high action combat, and monsters to slay, a huge open world to explore, and life skills such as crafting, hunting, fishing, and more. Black Desert is now available to play on PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. Well, that's it for the week in the wikis. Please join us again next week for yet another great week of gaming. Remember to check out our VIP program for some exclusive supporter benefits. And budding writers should take advantage of our Become an Author initiative. Thanks again for being part of this great community. Keep checking in with us with news, reviews, YouTube streams, and vids, and general wiki goodness.